Hey guys, Ben Reed here, bringing you guys another step-by-step -step tutorial. Today I'll be talking about proper interview techniques. So let's get started. First, make sure your camera is set to manual mode. For an interview, you'll want to blur out the background. So open up your aperture and set your f-stop to a low number, like 1.8 or 2.8. Use your ISO to adjust the exposure. If you are outside, you may need to use an ND filter. You'll be using a tripod to film your interviews in this class. Make sure your camera is set to eye level so the camera is not looking up or down at the subject. Hide the lav mic under your subject shirt so the cable isn't visible to the viewer. Consider the background when filming your interview. In order to blur out the background, your subject will need to be at least 10 feet away from the wall, avoiding having stand in front of a window, door, or other light source. Find a background that's interesting but won't distract the viewer from the person being interviewed. Let's talk about positioning. You, as an interviewer, should stand next to your camera and ask the subject to face you, not the camera. Establish eye contact with your subject while they answer your questions. You may need to remind them not to look into the camera. Each interview is different. You may choose to use a waist up shot or a head and shoulder shot for your interview. Be sure to use the rule of thirds, regardless of how tight the interview shot is. Alright, so I'm just going to give you guys a quick overview on how rule of thirds work. First, turn on your 3x3 grid display. When filming your subject, place the subject's nose on the top intersecting points of the grid. You will choose an intersecting point based on which way the subject is looking. Now I'd like to show you some examples of interview shots that were framed correctly and some that were not. Alright, we're going to start off with our worst shot. Remember, don't film your subject standing directly in front of a strong light source like a window or door. This will cause the background to be blown out. This shot also is not following the rule of thirds. Another tip is to make sure that the subject is lined up, preventing the subject from being too far off to the left and too far off to the right. If your subject is lined up perfect, you shouldn't need to worry if you're shooting high or shooting too low, like in this example. Alright, so this is the good interview shot. As you can see, it looks a lot better. Everything is lined up and properly exposed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys can use these tips to help you improve your interview techniques for the future. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.